get going. So many updates later, over one solid year, in one county, Liberty County, 2023 updates. So, meanwhile, back at the studio, me and Alex are going to talk about it. So, in January, on the 7th, this was the very first update of 2023, we got cash register robberies, the Bullhorn BH15 police truck, water towers, team custom team names, ice skating rink, and message boards on the highway. So that was a pretty neat update. What do you think, Alex? Well, I had to agree on that. It's absolutely amazing. It's 100%. I'm not going to rely on that. Then, <laughs> I, have no, I have no idea what to tell more. I'm speechless. Then in the same month, but on the 22nd, we got Chinatown and the 2022 Falcon Advance pickup truck. So they're both still in the game. And Chinatown, that's been in the game since the 22nd of January, so it's nearly been in the game nearly a year. It's a nice little street. Not going to lie. Moving on to February. So on the 5th, we got a brand new fire homes system for the fire department. We got the police light customization in private service and public service. We got some new civilian vehicles on the civilian teams. We, and we got a criminal hideout and a brand new gun star. So that brought quite a lot in February. Moving on, we've got a two more for February. So the 13th to the 17th, we had new cars added every single day. And on the 24th of February was the phone support teaser. This was when ERC and PRC teased an update for it coming onto mobile phones. So moving on into March, the winter map got removed. The new materials were added. That, that is when phone support was added. So this is on March 1st, phone support was added. And these GUIs as we know them today, now these ones here and these down here, were added. On the 17th was St. Patrick's Day update with the Green River, two new cars, which was a 2015 Falcon, what, I can't pronounce the last one, Fisson, Fisian. Please uh, do say in the comments if I said that wrong, because I do apologise now. And the 2022 Jala, whatever it is, the Turbo, the 2022 Turbo car, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce them. And then on the 25th of March, we had weather so we had rain thunder lightning all that police body cam was added spray paint and spike strips onto the police team moving on into april on the first we had the fools update april fools update along with the double xp on the seventh we had two easter egg hunts on the civilian and police team civilian was the normal egg hunt and on the police was the golden egg hunt Moving on to May, Eagle Construction got added with the summer update announcement, which was rich, which actually did come in July and August, and it was announced for June. On the 19th of May, we got the 777,000 likes update, which added the lawnmower and the Stuttgart's Landshaft 2022 on the civilian teams. They were cool cars, weren't they, Alex? Yeah, I couldn't agree more there, but uh, it's been... It's been a good one, but um, but some people just might not like it. <coughs> well, why? Why? Don't know. <laughs> On the 20th of May was Police Week, so we had the Falcon Police Interceptor Utility 2013 and the Q8 2022 on the law teams. New weapon animations and new Sheriff Office building. This was part of the Police Week, which lasted... Monday to Friday, however, the update was on the Friday. Moving on to June now, on the 28th, we had part one of the very terrible summer update, which added custom emergency lightning service pack to private service, Springfield Fire Department, new buildings and new map appearance. <sighs> and then to say they announced for it to be coming for part two in July, it didn't. It came on the 5th of August which added mine case, safe robberies, drones, key fobs, DMV, and punching animation. To be honest, summer update this year was actually really, really bad. I'm not going to lie. 100%. Not 
Moving on to my worst month of the year, September. On the 4th was the Labour Day update, which added bounties, dot custom liveries, La Mesa restaurant, basketball court, new MDT UI, new call sites, which involves letters and numbers. Moving on to October. On the 9th was the quality of life update, which added the boombox UGC, which you can get in game. Fire improvements, fire watch tower and bug fixes. Then on the 24th was a Halloween update, which added the murder mystery quest and the pumpkin patch corn maze. <laughs> Moving on to my one of my favourite months, November. On the 9th, we got the Dot Utility Truck, Emergency Services Truck, Friendship Bonus and a handheld radio. On the 23rd, we had the Thanksgiving update, which gave a 50% boost on all teams. December the 2nd, Play to Heal event that involved a new food drive, challenge new fire alarms for UGC items and a revamped jewelry store robbery and finally the most recent update which only came at recording in this video on the 17th which only came out on Friday was the Christmas update which added the winter map dot bucket truck which gave you a new street lamp fixing call law enforcement officer falcon rampage on police and sheriff the Mesa food truck and some new civilian vehicles so that actually concludes this very New Year's special. I hope you've enjoyed all these updates for Liberty County for this year. And we're looking forward to seeing what this city holds in the new year. It's quite a lot of updates there, Alex. Agreed, agreed. So, yep, me and Alex wish you a very happy New Year. And goodbye. Ta-ta.